Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, why does sex feel good? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. Physically speaking, there is an awful lot going on when you have sex. (laughs) Yeah, there is. Outside of your patented moves, I mean. To start with, there are three or four types of nerves that send signals to the brain when you have an orgasm. The pelvic nerve, the hypogastric nerve, the pudendal nerve, and, for female orgasms, the vagus nerve. Between them, these nerves tell your brain about the sensations being experienced in pretty much every fun part of your downstairs area, including the scrotum, the clitoris, and the prostate. So what happens when the brain gets this booty call from your nerves? In short, a party. A whole bunch of feel-good brain chemicals are released during climax. First, you get a good hard dose of dopamine, which is the body's reward chemical, the one that makes you feel super pleasurable and satisfied. This is followed by serotonin, which also makes you feel good, but in a more relaxed, lingering way than dopamine. It's responsible for that lazy-feeling high that you have after sex. After that comes oxytocin, the bonding chemical that makes you want to hang around and cuddle. And for men, this is followed by a fourth chemical, vasopressin, which is what makes dudes feel protective or even possessive over their partner. That's pretty intense. More so than you may realize. During an orgasm, the lateral orbitofrontal cortex of the brain, the part normally responsible for being your voice of reason and making you behave appropriately, pretty much shuts down entirely. It does this to such an extent that, according to one study, it resembles the brain of a person who's just shot themselves up with heroin. Yowzer! So, how come all this stuff happens? Like, why are we so into sex in the first place? It's nature's way of making us want to reproduce. As far as your genes are concerned, you only have one function in this life, and that's to pass your genes on to a new generation. Your body ensures you do this by making the experience not just something that's pleasurable, but something you crave, as satisfied by, feel good about, both mentally and physically. Considering the pain of childbirth, the risk of diseases, the relentless effort of raising children and everything else that goes with it. You have to give your body credit for coming up with a sensation that makes you think it's all worth it. So, are there other animals that like sex as much as we do? Oh my goodness, yes. Bonobos, our closest ape relative, are legendary for their sexual proclivities. They'll have sex whenever, wherever, with whoever. They have no problem with same sex or much older partners, they indulge in orgies, they swap partners frequently, and basically behave like a 19-year-old on their third day at an open-air music festival. There are also many animals that engage in oral sex, which obviously has little to do with actual procreation. These include sheep, goats, hyenas, bonobos of course, and maybe most adorably, even short-nosed fruit bats. I don't know what's more disturbing, the idea of fruit bats having oral sex or the fact you just described it as adorable. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.